Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading. Thought I'd do an outdoor backyard panorama for uh, getting close to spring here in the uh, Pacific Northwest. So I'm here on our little urban homestead. So I thought I'd show you the garden box update along with some of the other things happening in the backyard. You can see the uh, little chards that we had, rainbow chard, is coming back. And then uh, Paul has done a couple of harvests now off of this uh, chard that we brought out from inside the house. And so it seems to be doing okay. We've had some colder weather hit here at our, our place recently, so it hasn't been growing as well as I thought. So you can see it's really starting to take its toll on that basil there. But uh, you can see there's a lot of new growth coming on this beta mix that used to be indoors. So it's, I think it's going to do okay. It's going to bounce back. You know, there's still some dead stuff we need to, you know, probably come down here and I'll have Paula maybe when she gets her salad this week, trim out some of this dead stuff. That way it'll let the, the new growth come in. And there was that arugula we had inside. You can see there's some new growth coming up on it. And she's taking a couple of pieces out of that for her salads. But uh, now you can see our almond tree. It's in full bloom now. And then you can see the uh, buds on the apple trees are starting to, to open up. And then there's a pear you know, all throughout here. The little birds down there are getting their, their dinner. But uh, the cover crop seeds you can see in there in the garden, down inside there, they're starting to sprout. And then there's that kale that used to be in the, that's the white Russian kale, used to be inside the large grow tent. So you can see it sitting down there, I'm getting it acclimated to be out here. Just kind of letting it do its thing. There's a couple of plants that Paul and I picked up at the, the garden store. I'm gonna plant those around the yard. Give a little more color for summertime up through fall. So as you can see all the, the daffodils are starting to open up and we got a bunch of the other, you know, lower growing I can't remember what those are called down there around the peach tree, but uh, there's purple and there's a pinkish color, one of those. They're a smaller growing bulb. I always remember on the package, but I never remember once I plant them, but you know. <laughs> That's kind of, the, kind of the fun of it, is you just let it grow and go. But uh, yeah, you can see the, that's the apricot, one of them. Over here is starting to bloom. The other one over here hasn't, uh, well those are plums, that's a plum, I think that's the, the purple one, that's the uh, mango type plum or something, I can't remember, I'd have to see the tag, or look on my map, my plot map, and that was the, that's the plum cot, that's right. And we got the peach trees, you can see they're starting to bloom, as well as the other almond tree up there. And we have seen the, uh, the little black capped chickadees starting to investigate all of our birdhouses that we've got around here, because like that, that red one way up up there. There's a pair of black caps that were uh, going and looking inside there, bouncing in and out, as well as uh, this yellow one down here. That was a, that was the first time I've ever seen any of them go inside that yellow one. So I guess they just kind of vary and they move around because they'll they'll go into ones that have already had a nest in it before and they'll they'll pull parts of the nest out and then they'll uh, rebuild inside there. Because a lot of birds, if there's a nest that's already been in there, you're supposed to clean them out. But I just figure if they want a nest, they can do some work. <laughs> All right, that's kind of the look at the, uh, the backyard so far in spring of 2018. All right. Well, this has been Brian. I'll talk to you guys again. Have a good week. Bye.